I know that you know some people may not agree with that. It's the next day and I'm about to head to my hairdressers. We're almost there. Here's Dallas. We're just stuck in a lot of traffic. Just want to show you guys Elena's very cute outfit. Elena was in a very bad mood so we couldn't go out to eat so we just went ahead and picked up some food and brought it to the hotel. We made it to the mall because we're just gonna get some new clothes for Elena. We are back home and I thought I would do a little haul of everything that I got. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly vlog. I'm not exactly sure what's gonna be in this vlog. I know that I have some organizing to do in Elena's room, which is what I'm doing today. We'll just see what we get up to in the next few days. I haven't gone through all of her clothes since she was probably around three months um, and now she is seven almost eight months so we need to like get all of her clothes out of the drawers and into some storage bins and just you know keep out what she actually fits in because I actually feel like I don't have a lot that actually fits her right now so we need to see what we're left with I thought I would also do kind of like an update on Elena's schedule and like kind of where we're at with all of that let's do this first let's see where we're at with the drawers everything is like filled to the brim because I have so many different sizes with so many different seasons. I literally have all of her winter stuff with her summer stuff and we need to keep all the spring summer stuff because it's starting to get a little bit warmer. Here's all of her like winter stuff so let's go ahead and get this under control. Okay so I'm gonna sort through these clothes and I wanted to talk to y'all about something that's been on my mind that I feel like I just want to say because I feel like I wish I would have heard this months ago as a new mom. The pediatrician told us that babies at six months really don't need to be eating in the middle of the night anymore and that, you know, they are developmentally okay to go 12 hours at night without feeding. I was actually like shocked at this because I was still feeding her like at least two to three times um, at night at that time and I was actually a little bit like oh my gosh, like what am I gonna do? If she needs to eat, then she needs to eat. And if she's hungry, then she's hungry. Like I don't wanna not feed my baby. But then we started like researching sleep training and all of that kind of stuff. And me and Omar were thinking like, okay, maybe she's old enough to sleep train. So maybe that's what we're supposed to do. So we, you know, asked you guys on my Instagram. A lot of people gave us a lot of good advice. I just like researched on YouTube, like sleep training and all kinds of stuff. We kind of did like a modified cry it out method where we'd let her cry and then like go in there every few minutes to like, you know, let her know that we're there and reassure her and then we'd leave the room and just try to let her soothe herself. And it literally broke my heart. I hated doing that. We probably did that for I feel like it was a couple months. Omar said it was only one month and he said that I'm exaggerating. But anyways, so we did that for at least a month and we felt like any time that we'd get somewhere, we felt like, okay, she's soothing herself and, you know, we're on a good track. All of a sudden, like, she'd be teething and then it would just throw everything off. Or we would go out of town and her sleep schedule would be messed up and she just couldn't sleep when we got back like she used to. So we just never could make it work for us, I guess. And so here in the past month we decided you know what it's just like not worth it anymore i rock her to sleep i know that you know some people may not agree with that but we're just doing what works best for our family and for elena for a while we thought that okay let's try to wean her in the middle of the night and then when she would cry in the middle of the night we would try to like let her cry a little bit try to soothe her try to put the pacifier but then we were up in the middle of the night trying to soothe her with the pacifier and she just wasn't working and then as soon as I would feed her, she would go back to sleep. So we're just not ready. <laughs> we're just not ready. As a family, we're not ready. Elena's not ready. And so I'm still feeding her in the middle of the night, <laughs> at least two times. And I rock her to sleep and she sleeps great. And so do we. And I just thought that I would let you guys know that whatever you feel like works best for you and your family, don't have any shame in that. I feel like, you know, I put so much pressure on myself to do what I thought everyone else was doing. It was like the right thing to do. And, you know, I just decided that it just wasn't right for me. And I don't know who needs to hear that, but I definitely needed to hear that like as a new mom. I hope that those words were encouraging to any of you mamas who are feeling the same way and just know that just whatever works best for you and your family is 
what's best for you and your family anyways that's my little update i've been talking too much and i haven't actually gotten anything done so let's do a time lapse <laughs> so that i can get this stuff done and move on with my day <laughs> Here is the after. This is her pajamas, a couple of pajamas, and just like comfy clothes, socks, bibs, swimwear. <laughs> we're gonna figure out when we're gonna be able to swim this summer, hopefully. And then just a few pieces here. So everything else is emptied out. So really, I honestly need to get her some more just like everyday wear because I have mostly just pajamas for her for this stage to get some diapers to put in here. But I'm excited that this is all stuff that actually fits her and is organized. Also, I just wanted to show you guys this new set that I just got from H&M. It's this sage green eyelet detail dress. It also came with a bow, but I didn't really like the bow. Um, and it also came with these little bloomers to cover her diaper. It's just the most gorgeous little spring dress. So I'm gonna hang this on her clothing rack. I need to get some more spring dresses. So pretty. I will never get over her clothing rack. It's seriously my favorite thing in her room. And even though some of these clothes she doesn't fit in anymore, I just can't put them away yet. I'm just not ready. They're so cute. And then also she doesn't fit in half those shoes anymore either, but I'm just, I'm still just loving <laughs> all of this setup. And then how cute is her new straw hat? It's really just for photos. I'm to show you guys her new bathrobe. I am so obsessed with babies in bathrobes. It's just the cutest thing ever. This one has her name embroidered on the chest and it's just this beautiful light pink color with a teary cloth. I just had to share it because it's really good quality. Who doesn't love a baby in a bathrobe? <laughs> So cute. Hello you guys, it's the next day and I'm about to head to my hairdressers to get my hair done. I usually get my hair either trimmed or toned or something. I just try to maintain it every three months. So today I'm going for a trim and I think I'm getting it toned, but sometimes if I feel like my balayage has grown out, then I'll ask for some more pieces in the front. But I think today I'm just getting it like maintained. I'm gonna go do that. And then we are headed to Dallas a little bit later today so that I can shoot a campaign for Express. I'm not even meeting with Anaya today because she's not available, but Omar and I are just going up there by ourselves we're gonna shoot we figured since we're already there it's later in the day we're gonna go ahead and spend the night so we're spending the night and just doing a little staycation today is friday so we thought we'll just stay the night and then tomorrow we can have like brunch and just have a nice little staycation in dallas as a family let's go ahead and get this day started Hi. good how are you good I have to show you guys, my hairdresser Taylor got these beautiful little curtains and it is so convenient because now it's like extra private. And what else do you use the curtains for other than me? <laughs> well, I can like, sometimes women have conversations they don't want other people to know. So like, mm, so. just talk very quiet and they, it kind of blocks out. Perfect. Yeah. Love it. It lets people know that like, hey, we're doing our own thing. So yes. Don't, like, <laughs> well, I love it. Thank you, Taylor. Mm -hmm. Let's get started. I just finished. Um, that took about two hours and I did some like face framing highlights, like balayage in the front and then I did a tone and then a trim and she kind of like took some weight off my hair a little bit and like not thinned it out but just like took some bulk out just feels so much better my hair was getting kind of like poofy my hair is pretty thick every time I get my hair done and I film myself going to the hairdresser I'm like why do I do this I can't show anything and this sucks but whatever at least I can kind of talk about it and Taylor is so sweet like literally she has like the curtain up there and she doesn't just use it for me but she was thinking about me whenever she got it and it's just literally the sweetest thing ever her salon is pretty private anyways it's just her and one other hairstylist that has the salon but sometimes there may be like a ups man that walks in randomly or like her co-worker may have like a male client one time so she kind of has to schedule me around that so this is just so much easier now i'm gonna go meet up with omar and elena and we're gonna drive to dallas do the shoot and then we're gonna go to dinner tonight. We'll see what else we get up to. We're almost there. There's Dallas. We're just stuck in a lot of traffic. Yeah. But it's so pretty. That's part of driving to Dallas though. So. I know. We're used to just, you know, more of a slow paced lifestyle. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so glad we don't have to deal with this on a daily basis. Yeah. We made it to the shoot location. I forgot lipstick, but <laughs> And Elena's in a bad mood. And Elena's in a terrible <laughs> mood, but you know, I guess it's not the end of the world. Yeah. So, okay, I'm gonna set you guys down somewhere. I'm gonna show you 
guys, Elena's very cute outfit. She's being very patient. She is being patient. This is actually, which hopefully whenever I get her out, I'll show you guys better, but oh, she's in a very bad mood. What I was saying earlier was that this outfit that she's wearing is the first outfit I ever bought her when I found out that I was having a girl. So really? I'll, I'll insert a picture of me holding the outfit at Zara. <laughs> I'm so excited. Little did I know she wouldn't fit into it and now she was like eight months old. Yeah, basically. <laughs> Hello. Then I forgot the camera, so. I went back and got it. How many things have I forgotten today? <laughs> lipstick. Oh, I used um, Elena's Aquaphor on my lips. Oh, nice. Oh, oh look. Lip yeah, it looks good. <laughs> All right, here we okay, go. Okay, let's go do let's this go. last Let's go look. finish it. Oh, Elena's outfit. I love Isn't it. it so cute? I love it. Let's try this again. <gasps> this one did pretty good. <laughs> we had a really hard time getting her to look at the camera. Yeah. It's okay. It's okay. That's why you should bring somebody to distract yeah. your subject. It's so hard. Oh my gosh. To yeah. Alone. Let's get this done and then go eat. Yeah. Sounds good. Sound good to you, Baba? So I picked up food and we made it to the hotel and we actually booked this really nice room because they didn't have anything else available. So it's just like this really big suite. <laughs> We're just staying here for the one night. So let me give you guys a little tour. When you first walk in, we're at the Jewel Hotel in Dallas, which is my favorite. This is like a big sitting area. And you walk into bathroom area, big shower, bathtub. Wish I could take advantage of that. Got some mirrors here. This is really big compared yeah. to the other rooms. And then we have the bedroom area. Yeah, we haven't seen a room this big. Yeah, this is nice. Ever in a hotel, I don't think. What are we gonna do? We wanna eat some dinner and then go sleep? That's what we should do. You want to? Oh. I think I already mentioned this, but Elena was in a very bad mood, so we couldn't go out to eat, so we just went ahead and picked up some food and brought it to the hotel. I, of course, got Flower Child. <laughs> I always crave it because we don't have it in our small town, so anytime I come to Dallas, I literally just get it. I got literally it. every time. Literally That's every awesome. time. Got a chicken plate with sweet potato and Brussels sprouts, side of gluten-free mac and cheese, and I got an avocado toast because it had like some avocado and egg that I can give Elena. She'll probably eat a little bit of my mac and cheese too. And then we're gonna put this baby girl to sleep. Good morning, guys. It's the next day. We just woke up, got ready and dressed and everything. We slept really good last night, thank God. Elena is about, she should be about to wake up from her nap and then we're gonna go eat brunch. We were just like thinking about how different our staycations are now that we have a baby. Like we were like, thinking like, oh, we'll go stay at the Jewel, our favorite hotel, and we'll go out to dinner, we'll wake up, go to brunch. Like we were just like, oh, it'll be so nice. No, Elena was so fuzzy last night and there was no way we were gonna take that girl to a restaurant. We just basically picked up food on our way here and ate cold food in the room and then put her to sleep finally. I don't know and I was so stressed yesterday mainly because Elena was just not in a good mood and she was just when she's upset it really stresses me out. I'm just like so overwhelmed and I don't know if that's just a Lena thing or if that's like a mom thing because Omar definitely doesn't feel that way. He handles things a lot better than me. Anyways uh, we are gonna go eat. It's this breakfast brunch place. It's one of my favorites in Dallas. I wanted to show you guys our view. If you're not from Dallas you're probably like what the heck is that but it's like the iconic downtown Dallas eye and what's right oh, Outside of our window, which is really cool. She's yeah. awake. Good morning. Hello, hello. Okay, she's no, hungry. She's hungry. Ah. First, let's start with Elena's H and M. Love the leopard, mommy. And then my outfit is express trench, Madewell jeans, Steve Madden sandals, YSL bag. Omar, I do wear it. The shirt that I've had for. Three years and pants that I've had for three years. Love it. <laughs> okay, let's go eat. I'm starving.
We are back home and I thought I would do a little haul of everything that I got. I mainly just shopped for Elena. I didn't even buy anything for myself and I don't know, it's just so much more fun for me to shop for her for some reason and also she just is growing out of so many of her clothes. Honestly, I didn't even find that many things. I went into Zara, H&M, and Nordstrom. Zara's line was way too long. I wasn't even gonna wait in that line. It was gonna be like an hour and honestly, I just prefer shopping online. Like, I'm the worst. Like, I go into a store and I'm, like, so excited. And then I get overwhelmed. Too many things to look at or, or things are picked over or the line's too long or whatever. And I'm just like, I'm just going to buy this online. <laughs> Why did I even come in store? I don't know. So, anyways, let me show you guys all what I got. First, I got to show you guys what Elaine is wearing today. It is so cute. I'm going to take her seven-month pictures. I usually try to, like, put together a little shoot for her every month just for memories. Okay. Yeah, she's not crawling just yet, but she's rolling all over the place. This set is from H&M. It's so cute I also got the white one. So let me show you. Oh, you okay? You okay, mama? Okay, so I'm trying to lay out everything that I got like I said I didn't find too many things But these are the pieces that I found from Nordstrom So I found this really pretty blue striped jumpsuit that I thought was so so nice Everything I got from Nordstrom is just such amazing quality It wasn't that cheap or anything like that, but definitely worth it This is another one from Nordstrom this pink ribbed sleeper onesie whatever you call it super soft and just good for hanging ar around the house and then i got a couple of things from h&m i found this set of long sleeve thin t-shirts with this ruffle on the collar it came with the gray one pink and floral and then i found these floral leggings that i thought were cute this set is also really cute this little um cheetah print set it also came with the hat but she will not be wearing the hat getting kind of warm outside but it's thin enough that it's good for spring this is the same uh, dress that she's wearing in white so gorgeous with the eyelet detail and the ruffles it comes with this bow but the bow is not my fave that is everything that i got her forgot to mention this bucket hat that i got her i loved this eyelet detail and i knew that it would just be great to add to any outfit for the summer i really wanted like a really simple hat that i could throw on her if she was in the sun so i have her <laughs> Oh my gosh, she is kicking up a storm, but I just threw this swaddle blanket underneath her because I thought it matched her outfit the best. I have her seven month little sign and I'm gonna get to shooting this little cutie. Mommy, can you smile? Thank you, boo! Oh my god, I was so scared she was gonna fall forward. <laughs> but we got the cutest, cutest pictures. I'll try to insert one on screen. I actually forgot to do her six month pictures and a lot of people actually told me that they did that as well. So they just like took two pictures in month seven or whatever. I took so many pictures of her that weren't with the sign during six months that I'm just gonna probably use one of those. Maybe I'll like Photoshop the sign <laughs> in there somewhere, but. This girl, she has a lot of energy. Yeah, let's go play some more, okay? Before I end this vlog, I wanted to kind of share with you guys the top that I'm wearing because I got a lot of questions about my three to six month essentials video at the top I was wearing. This is actually one that's extremely similar. It's from Express. There's limited sizing left, but I will go ahead and link um, more of my favorite like satin um, blouses because I think that these are perfect for Ramadan. I wanted to ask you guys um, I'm trying to put together like some Ramadan outfits. I always okay So I know that everyone is different especially like around the world like what you wear during Ramadan But a lot of times for us with iftar parties and stuff. We don't like we don't wear like full abayas We don't wear gowns or dresses or anything like that We just go for like the casual cute vibe honestly like jeans and like a satin blouse like this would be something that would be very like appropriate for us to wear for an iftar party i mean if you wanted to go a little bit dressier you could wear some trousers and like a satin top like this but let me know like what do you guys do for like ramadan like how do you guys normally dress when you um are like hosting a dinner or just having a nice dinner with your family or whatever you guys are doing this year i would love to know just so i can help you guys out a little bit better we kind of save like those more like abayas and like fancy dresses and things for eid so let me know what you guys do if you guys are interested i will link some more of these satin tops 
down below because I actually found some from Shein. I was so against Shein for so long just because I had some terrible experiences with their quality. Recently, I've been like ordering a few things here and there like those sandals I shared earlier like in a, a previous vlog and then I ordered some satin tops from there. They have like this premium collection and I always just want to make sure that the quality is good before I recommend it but I'll link some from there that I did purchase as well. Don't forget to like this video if you liked it and subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!